Hi, right, hey, 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 what's going on again? It's uh, Farmer Fredo, um, Executive Director, Flint River Fresh. And um, you guys have already received your uh, Grow Your Groceries home installation. But one thing I wanted to talk about today is what I call like the essential tools that you need in order to be a successful backyard gardener or a successful farmer. So first tool that you would need, I always tell people to have, is a tortoise just like a, a hand trough. A um, couple different ways, but this is really just utilized for your transplants. Um, you could also use it to spread fertilizer and things like that around. Um, but this is mine, and so I always like to show this off because it kind of reminds me of the old school movie Crocodile Dundee. Um, but I'm using it for gardening. So again, it's just a tool. Put it to the ground for spacing to allow for like your, for your transplants. All right. Second tool that you should have. Again, a good cultivator. Something to kind of scratch up the soil when you're putting the fertilizer down or as you're kind of like done some digging or mixing. Just something just to scratch up the earth. Just a good little cultivator tool, like three prong, basic standard that you need, right? Then also you kind of have what I call like a digging fork. So this is just a small scale version, but a lot of times when you're doing like some root based crops, whether it's um, your beets, your carrots, or your radishes, and you just kind of need to dig them up. Just more like a tool that kind of helps with breaking it up, right? Loosen up. But then also, as you just saw, it's also a good tool to utilize if you try like to break up a new garden space that's kind of been like dormant for a while before you kind of mix in the soil, mix in the compost. This is kind of just loosen up, help aerate the soil, right? Small little hand tools just to get started. So the next tool that you need is like some sort of like shears or pruners or some sort of scissors. And basically this is utilized for um, you know, cutting like your tomato plant off or, or pruning like the leaves uh, on, a, on a cabbage plant or I'm not cabbage, I mean a collard plant or just in general, just basic maintenance and upkeep. Having these handy in your garden space is always a, a good thing just to have just on hand to use, right? The next thing that you need is kind of what I call like a really big boy essential is you need like some sort of shovel. Um, in order to get this into your raised garden boxes or even um, even once you see like a load into your bag and things like that, just really good tool to have is just like basic standardized sort of shovel. And last but not least, a good old fashioned just garden rake. Um, this is a little bit different than your standard like yard rake, which um, has like a lot more prongs on. This is like more heavy duty, especially when you're dealing with like compost um, and soil. You just need something that can really help break, smooth things out. Really good tool I like to have like your basic starter like um, garden rake. So this is what I call like your basic like, essentials. And then I kind of have some new things that are like my like personal favorite. You don't necessarily like need them per se, but they do make the job just a little bit easier. And some tools I've kind of fell in love with. So I showed you the smaller little hand digging for it, but man, ain't nothing like a good old faithful one that can really just help you just, just put it in there, execute, break up the soil. And I just like this, especially when I work with kids, it's just something about this massive fork going straight into the ground and just breaking up the soil to get some all like excited about it. So a really good, bigger, oversized um, digging fork. Next two I fell in love with, this is called like an oscillating hoe or an action hoe or a stirrup hoe, but basically it goes back and forth and it's a really good tool for our raised boxes when we're doing like the raised garden. They kind of work through weed a spot really easy really quick and fast gets the job done it's a good little accelerator hoe and my new tool that i'm in love with because again i always want to create a, a weed free environment this is called like a tine weeder t-i-n-e weeder right so it has like these little prongs on it little times on it and it does the same thing but you just basically can rake over an area and it slowly just keeps the space weed free and what I like about it with the spacing, especially if your plants have already established, you can kind of go right beside your plants without disturbing the roots. They create again like a nice weed free, weed free, say that slower, weed free um, garden space just with like a little bit of innovation. All right. So again, this is just what I call my essentials that you need tool wise for your grow your groceries, home garden, or even if you're like a backyard community gardener, here are just some basic tools that you should have in your tool shed, 
your garage, or if you're like me, you might just have it in the back seat of your van, riding around town and you're trying like to, to feed the world, right? So again, this is me, Farmer Fredo. I'm checking in, checking out, and growing food is what I'm about. Peace.